Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. We ran to Walmart. This is sort of a last minute video. Um, Jimmy needed another pair of work pants. We also ran to the Dollar Tree to get three pieces of black foam board uh, for a project. Um, I may or may not share it with you. No. We have this beautiful uh, hutch in the dining room that I'm sure you've seen before that uh, Jim's dad had made in the Philippines. And we're going to do a little different something with it for storage. So we got those. But let me show you the dairy really quick because it's really been out of the freezer too long. Um, Jim wanted ice cream. So he picked up some vanilla bean. That's his favorite. They had no coffee and no milk chocolate chip. And he got cookie dough, which is not what I asked him to get. And he I got took, I said cookies and cream. That's with Oreos, mm -hmm. like Oreos. Yeah, and it was right there next to it. Yeah, and he got cookie mm -hmm. dough as well. So mm -hmm. Go ahead and put these in the freezer real quick if you can. It's okay, honey, just communication. Um, we, I needed creamer, so this is the caramel, sugar-free caramel macchiato from International Delights. They had it this time. So I tried to order it on the Walmart grocery pickup a couple of weeks ago, or last week, or whatever. We picked up some more extra creamy, whipped cream. Um, it's the big bottle this time. Jim said he got the big can. Um, but I, I, I meant to ask you to check the orange box because he also picked up his cookies and like I showed him on the orange box on the cookies that the large family pack is actually more per ounce than the small pack. Go figure. I had my own bag and she put everything in a bag anyway. Specifically expressed, I, ex I specifically expressed that I would like everything back in my own shopping bags. I'm sorry, I keep looking over there. That's usually where the camera is. Jim got four of his Mountain Lightnings. He's not mixing it anymore. He tried. We tried. Um, this is one of the things that we went for for work. They're all day work insoles. Um, for sizes 7 to 13. Jim falls like right in the middle of that category. Um, and I guess we have to cut them down. I'm not really sure. Might have to. I have to read the directions. Um, but he has uh, shoes for crews, which are really great non-skid shoes, but the insoles aren't really great. Which I'm kind of surprised for, especially the price that they are. We picked this up. So you know we like this in the spray version. And we got this to just leave in on low all the time. It's this. Can you see what that is? Can you see what that is? And it's the bamboo set. Jim got these. Now you know he likes the Belvita banana soft cookies. Uh, breakfast bar thingies. But I convinced him to get the ones with the extra protein. So these have 10 grams of protein and they do have chocolate chips in them. You only get, uh, you get less of these. I think you only get four of these mm -hmm. as opposed to five of the others. Yeah, you yes. get four of these. Five or six so uh, the cookies, I think it's five and I think the double packs is six. Oh. So, and okay. they're all the same price. They're all $2.48, but these are, um, you get less of them. So. We picked up two of the generic Benadryls. These are by Quality Plus. They have like an 88 cent bin. They have the 88 cent bin back. Um, and we just needed a little Benadryl in the house. It's just that time of year. It's just that time of year when sometimes you just need three allergy medicines at once. <laughs> so I take my generic Zyrtec. I take my nasal cord, which is the nasal inhalant, and you know, uh, how <sighs> allergy medicine. And then every once in a while, I need a Benadryl at night. Um, Jim picked up Chir Hershey's chocolate syrup. He said it was an impulse buy. This is what happens when you leave him alone and go to the bathroom. Your shopping cart ends up with all these things in it. I don't know what to tell you. It's like having a fire. I don't have shop. I could have gone back to like time to the time to go to the bathroom. But we were going to make some. So we just talked about I saved the last bottle to put it into and everything. So the last few things we got are some whole wheat bagels, yay, because I wanted these and I bought cream cheese last week um, and then they were out of the bagels. I think I shared that with you on my grocery pickup. 
We also picked up the whole wheat uh, peppers from Cinnamon's World Bread. Um, I love this for French toast. So does Jim. Um, so I'm going to make up a batch. I think we'll have French toast tomorrow. I think. What time are you working tomorrow? Uh, I have to double check, but I do believe it's oh, uh, 11 to 4. Yeah, I think it's 11 to 4 too. So maybe we won't have French toast tomorrow. Um, Jim wanted his mint fudge. These are like uh, thin mints. They're only 94 cents. They're cheaper than the generic Girl Scout cookies from Aldi. And he picked up two packages of his Chewy Chippers. Um, I know he was trying. I think he's got his period. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Jim's got PMS. No, the, the way I deal with my PMS is the bottles on the refrigerator. Oh, he said he drinks for his PMS. Um, and the last thing, which is what we went for. So thank you to everybody who gave us a Walmart gift card. Oh, um, you know what we did forget? Unless we plan on getting it next time, the batteries. Yes, we are. We're gonna get okay, the Okay, I can't remember remember. And the bio, then we'll get next time too. Yeah. And wipes. No, just those two items. And wipes. Oh, the wipes, okay. Um, we picked up, he picked up a pair of these. Now, I made him get, he's, he wear, okay, the work pants, which is the 847s that he wears, 847s, right? So. Um, by Dickies. Uh, they were totally out of his size. He wears a 4032 in those. He picked up the 4032 in these and they looked so small. And I was like, just grab the 42. You wear a belt anyway. They're denim, so they might dry. But they're actually calling these five pocket jeans. But they don't feel like jeans. They feel, they, they look, they're like a stretch material. They have the flex, just like the work pants. I mean, they're Dickies, they're work pants, but it's just, um, they have the fifth pocket is really what makes it jeans. I don't really know. So he got those, he'll try them on, let us know how they fit. And um, yeah, and that's everything. So I told him, please, before you, make sure you can wear them at work before you go ahead and take all the tags off in case we have to return them. <sighs> been a very very long day Jim was off today tomorrow is or when you're watching this it will be Memorial Day so happy Memorial Day to you and if you served our country or are the spouse or family member of someone who served the country I would like to thank you I know it's not Veterans Day but um, e even I know Memorial Day is for those who've lost their lives however Anybody who actually put on the uniform has risked their lives at one point. So I wanted to thank all of them as well. Um, but of course, your thoughts and prayers, our thoughts and prayers go with everyone who has uh, gave the ultimate sacrifice for our freedom and our country. Yep. Yep. So tired. So we've been mm -hmm. cleaning and reorganizing on his day off, doing, trying to finish up the parts of the house that we still have to do. We're 96% done with the... Americana decor decorating. We just have to finish up the dining room, but we're doing an organization project in the dining room first. So it's sort of like, but he's only working until four tomorrow, so, and only five hours, which is good. So then well, maybe we can get some more done tomorrow. But in the meantime, I just want to tell everybody, be safe. Thank you so much for stopping by and happy Memorial Day. And as always, you take care, God bless, and we'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs> Waiting for him to come back to say goodbye. Bye. <laughs> goodbye, all. <laughs>